Hey, Travis here uh, with Modern Bay. Uh, today I'm getting ready to uh, bring this from the long block to the fully built state. Uh, this is George's motor. It's looking awesome so far. This blue powder coat is just, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, anyway, you'll see that in a bit. Um, but what I'm trying to do uh, with these videos is not just share tech tips, not just share things uh, to help, but also share a little bit about, uh, I guess, who I am and, and uh, why we do what we do. Uh, and so today, uh, in lieu of a tech tip, uh, I just wanted to share a little, a little story from when, uh, from shortly after uh, when we got our first bus, uh, which is 16 years ago. So I'll tell that whole story another time, but where this story begins is I had just purchased this 1974, uh, this orange, this zany orange 1974 Volkswagen bus. And it was the, cra <laughs> it was the craziest uh, vehicle I'd ever seen. Um, I mean, orange plaid interior, it was brilliant orange, like, it was amazing, right? So super excited about it. Uh, this is right before we were married. Um, I had bought the bus as a surprise wedding gift to my wife and I. Uh, it ran on three cylinders, barely. Um, and I was trying to get, you know, make it on three cylinders uh, from one side of town to the other uh, in Boulder. And I was kind of tooting along, you know, trying to keep it running, trying to keep it running. And, you know, I pull up to a stoplight. As soon as I hit the brakes, the thing dies. And, you know, so of course I'm sitting there like, okay, okay. You know, I try and I try to start it up, try to start it up and wasn't going anywhere. And so I'm sitting there, you know, <laughs> and I'm at the light long enough where it like does a couple of cycles uh, and I'm trying to, you know, figure out what I'm going to do. And suddenly, you know, out of the driver's side, I just see this lady kind of like ambling across traffic and <laughs> she comes up and uh, I, you know, I reach over and I roll the window down, you know, me in my completely dead as a doornail bus. And she was a bit scraggly, um, you know, I could tell she's homeless. Um, and she, you know, she had a backpack and had her, you know, stuff, um, kind of, you know, scraggly hair and, and whatever. Uh, but then with this uh, warmest smile, she looks at me and she says, hey, can I sleep in your bus? <laughs> and a little bit of backstory at the time. So this is December, toward the end of December in Colorado. It was supposed to snow that evening. I assume she had no place to stay. And so really without, without a second thought, I just, I just say, yeah, hop on in. <laughs> so, um, and so, you know, she gets in and uh, on the radio. So this, this is perfect. So um, she gets in, I try to start it again. Lo and behold, it starts. The tape deck starts playing a Cat Stevens song, <laughs> Peace Train. And so the song is like, peace train coming for you, right on the peace train, <laughs> if you know it. And this lady just starts jamming out. She's just like, she's on, she's on one, right? But she's just like, peace train coming for you, right on the peace train. And, and I'm just like, guys, I am not, I had not been a part of Volkswagen culture before that point. And I'm just looking at this lady and I'm like, I don't know what is going on here, but I love it. <laughs> so this lady just gets in my bus. I'm like, yeah, you can, you know, stay in my bus. Uh, that's fine. And she just starts, you know, singing and sure enough, starts right up. And we cruise over uh, to, the, to the apartment complex where I live. Um, and I, you know, I pulled the back, you know, the bench down for my, my wife to be at the time. And I um, got her some blankets, like set up the, the backs. Like I said, it was supposed to snow that night. I didn't really feel comfortable if we're staying in our home or you know, in, our, in my apartment. So uh, set her up, warm blankets, the whole thing, brought her some soup, all that. And um, <laughs> and yeah, so she, she stayed the night. The next morning, um, she asked if I could give her a ride to work. She, she worked at a, at a hotel in Boulder. So I, you know, thankfully, yet again, the bus made it. <laughs> I uh, gave her a ride to work, and that's that's the last I ever saw of her. Uh, but I will never forget that um, because it was my kind of baptism into the kind of culture that we're, we're all a part of, uh, the Volkswagen culture, where um, people feel a strange comfort approaching you and either being like, your bus is amazing, I love it, or on the other end of the spectrum, hey, can I sleep in your bus? <laughs> um, which, is, uh, which is just cool. So... Uh, anyway, that is, uh, I actually didn't intend to record this uh, right now. I'm just, I was just going to practice, but that's pretty much the story. So uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, that's story time for this Tuesday. 
Uh, it is a cold day here in December. It's uh, snowing, kind of half blizzarding outside, but uh, warm here in the shop and got to get this engine built out. So thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah.